unfolding the eternal excellences, the hidden insights of the truth, and the depth of the riches of wisdom and knowledge. The Bible says, I have cleansed thee by the word. I have not pointed to your weaknesses. He says, I have cleansed thee by the word. I have pointed to your strength. And this is your strength, that I am Christ in you, the hope of glory. The glory of freedom, the glimpses into eternity. The gospel is not supposed to be an assumption. It's not supposed to be just a mere presupposition. Truth is older than language, but the word of God is way deeper than any human language. And now, Apostle Grace with the word. Let's read Philippians 2.16. God's word says, holding forth the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. Of course, you know that any two of us can set any miracle in motion. If two shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done by Father who is in heaven. So let's join our faith and thank God that none of us will labor in vain. No marriage will labor in vain. None will stay barren. No business will stay broke or liquidated. There will be results for whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. You are going to demand 100% success. Shall we pray? Our Lord and our God in Jesus' name, we join our faith together. Lord, we speak into the heavens. We speak to the buildings. We speak to the skies. We speak to creation. We thank you because we will not labor in vain. In the name of the Lord Jesus. No marriage, no ministry, no business, no career will labor in vain. We hold the word against every demonic aggression. Yes, that word that says the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree and grow like the cedars of Lebanon. We declare that is our testimony. There shall be increase, there shall be acceleration, there shall be progress, there shall be fruitfulness in every dimension. And your name alone will be glorified. Our Lord and our God will give you praise because everyone that came tonight will go home with a testimony. We thank you and we magnify you. Be glorified our God. In Jesus name we pray. The power of God's favor. Remind you about a couple of very important things you know already. This is a church that has been well taught in the word. Hallelujah. Each time we tune into Fanero on TBN, everybody takes notes. Everybody. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we're talking about your inheritance in Christ. Philippians, no, Philemon 1.6. God's word says that the communication of your faith might become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you. In Christ Jesus. It's not outside you. It's in you already. God has given unto you all things. That pertain to life. And to godliness. Now hear this. You see. Success is not really about what you don't have. Success is about what you have. That you don't value. Praise God. It's about what you have already. That you don't value. Read with me. Psalm 49 verse 20. We'll read it in the King James. Then we'll read it in the NIV. The Bible says in the King James, Man that is in honor and understandeth not is like the beast that perish. That means if you are in honor, you have an enviable position, dignified position, distinct and you don't understand it or appreciate it, there'll be no difference between you and the unbeliever. Look at it in the NIV. It makes more sense. Everybody read if you can. It says, a man who has riches without understanding is like the beast that perish. That means, as rich as you were, if you don't understand it or you don't have a revelation of it, there'll be no difference between you and the unbeliever. You'll be broke like them. You panic like them. You be in depth like them. Praise Jesus. This is why it's so important, so crucial, that every child of God should get in the word. Get to know who you are in Christ Jesus. Allow the Holy Spirit to show you your inheritance in Christ. Hallelujah. What you can do as a result of your perfect union you know, with Jesus and what belongs to you in redemption. 
my prophet, when this truth becomes a reality, then we don't need oils and holy water and flags and, and napkins and, and oils and fire. We don't need them. Hallelujah to Jesus. Dead in the world. I know what belongs to you already. This is what I'm sharing with you briefly about favor. Now, God's favor for the child of God is no longer a promise. It has become a reality. We don't pray God favor me. We thank him because we have it. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout it Lord, I am favored of God. God's favor is our inheritance. We have received it and we walk in it by faith. Is it scriptural? Yes. Romans 5, 17. God's word says, for if by one man's offense, death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in this life through Christ Jesus. What is grace? Unmerited favor. Watch this. We have received it. It is not a prayer point anymore. It is not a fasting project. We have received it. God's favor is our inheritance. It has become a part of our nature. It's inseparable from your nature. Each day you go out of the house, favor follows you. If that is you, shout hallelujah. Again, John chapter 1 verse 16 in the Amplified. Look at what the Bible says. This is sweet. I give you this free of charge. <laughs> Everybody read. It says, For out of his fullness, abundance, we have all received. Put your finger there. We have received it. We are not praying about it. I don't need a prophet or a bishop or an apostle to lay hands on me to be favored. It is my inheritance. The day I got born again, I received favor. The same favor that Jesus has, I have it. He says, for out of his fullness, abundance we have all received what's that word all it is not the pastors only it's not the apostle only it's not the bishop every born again child of God whether he's black or white or short or tall or fat you have received it he says all had a share and we are all supplied with one grace after another and spiritual blessing upon spiritual blessing and even favor upon favor and gift heaped upon gift you will never lose again you will not cry yourself to sleep again no more defeat in your life if you receive that shout yes shout yes Glory to Jesus. Psalm 5 verse 12. It says, For thou, Lord, wilt bless the righteous, and with favor shall thou encompass him as with a shield. Hear me. He said he will bless not the American. He will bless not the black man. He will bless not the English man. He will bless the righteous. Who is righteous? If you put your faith in Christ, what is righteousness? Having a standing before God as if sin never existed in your life. What is righteousness? It's the ability to stand before God, before the devil, before sickness and death, before witches and wizards, without any sense of sin, without any sense of guilt, without any sense of inadequacy or shame or inferiority. You are no longer inferior to God but you are superior to the devil and his demons. God said for thou will bless the righteous and with favor. With what? Favor. Shall thou encompass him as with a shield. Can I say this to you? If you understand favor, you don't need a gun. 
if you understand favor, you might not need security because the devil on his best day cannot take you out on your worst day. The Bible says, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth also shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Hallelujah to Jesus. His truth also shall be thy shield and thy buckler. He said thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night nor the arrow that flight by day nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor the destruction that wasted at noonday a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come nigh thee with your eyes only shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked he said because he's made the Lord my refuge even the most high my habitation there shall no evil before thee neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling somebody shout hallelujah for he shall give his angels charge over thee they shall keep you in all your ways they shall bear thee up with your hands lest you and you and you dash your foot against a stone he said he shall tread upon the lion and the adder the young lion and the dragon shall he trample on the feet he said because he set this off upon me I will deliver him I will set him on high because he had known my name that name is Jesus he said he shall call upon me I will answer him I will be with him in trouble I will deliver him somebody shout hallelujah hear me the devil on his best day cannot take you out on your worst day I decree this is the last time you will suffer defeat this is the last time you will beg this is the last time you will cry if that is you shout yes shout yes Say with me, favor. Nothing colors a destiny like favor. Hallelujah. Even church growth, like what you see, is a product of favor. Can I show you? Look at the book of Acts chapter 2 verse 47. It said, praising God and having favor. With all the people. How else do you explain it? On a Thursday evening. In the rain. Tens of thousands come to hear one man. Say with me favor. I decree that favor will mark you out. In the gym you will find favor. In the market you will find favor. Your children will find favor. You will walk with favor. If you receive that shout yes. Nothing colors a destiny like favor. Favor is God's kingdom plan to bring you to the place of destiny. Without favor, you can't go far. In other words, life remains a struggle without favor. Favor is supernatural. Supernatural means above the devil, above the systems, above the medical economic, social, and political systems. Somebody's receiving something tonight. Your dramatic change of story begins tonight. Favor will rewrite your story. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Life remains a struggle without favor. Favor is God's anointing that enables you to succeed where you naturally would have failed. There is no barrier to God's favor. Hallelujah. Favor is a spiritual law. You want to write this down? It is a law. A law talks about the principle or talks about the principle with a predictable outcome. Anywhere you set it in motion, it gives you the same result it gives Jesus. Favor is a spiritual law. Why is it a spiritual law? Because it involves the suspension of natural laws. When favor comes in, natural laws give way. I declare your life changes tonight. Your level changes tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Favor makes the impossibilities of life a reality in your life. Favor makes you unbeatable. <laughs> You become a nightmare to the enemy. An impossible case to the enemy. Praise Jesus. 
Favor turns insults to results. Favor cancels every disadvantage of life. This is why I personally conclude that all a man can be, all that a man is, and all that a man can ever be, does not depend on the school he attended. It does not depend on his skin color. It doesn't depend on his pedigree. It depends on Jesus that lives in him and the favor he walks in. 1 Corinthians 15, 10. Paul said, I quote, I am what I am by the grace of God. Favor is a gift from God that enables you to succeed when you naturally don't stand the chance. Hear me? Even if your dream has zero chances of success in natural terms, favor can make it succeed. With your permission, man of God, I see CEOs, people that own franchises, come out of here. You are going to change the story of your family. You'll be the first billionaire in your family. I declare that favor will rewrite your story. Your franchise will grow. Your brand will become global. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Say with me, favor. Favor is supernatural. Hear me, good friends. No matter what has happened, no matter how unfair it was, no matter what came against you or who came against you, no matter who walked away, no matter who mocked you or ridiculed you, keep thanking God for favor. Because one moment of the favor of God is what a thousand years of labor. God's favor can put more results in your life in a single day than labor can in a thousand years. Favor. A split second of God's favor can put more results in your life than a thousand years of labor can do for you. One encounter with favor changes everything about you. And it's important you realize, become conscious of the fact that you stand on favored grounds. Let me give this to you again free of charge. Romans 5, 1 and 2 in the Amplified. Somebody's story is changing tonight. Romans 5, verse 1 and 20 Amplified. Read with me carefully. The Bible says, therefore, since we are justified, acquitted, declared righteous, and given a right standing with God, true faith, not works, true faith, let us grasp the fact that we have the peace of reconciliation to hold and to enjoy peace with God through Lord Jesus, our Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the anointed one. Verse 2, loudly everybody, loudly watch this. He said, through him also, we have our access, entrance, introduction by faith into this grace, state of God's favor in which we firmly and safely stand. Men and brethren, we are not standing on cursed grounds. There is no ancestral curse on your life. There is no generational curse. There is no limitation from your family. What stopped my papa cannot stop me. I am a child of God. For if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Watch this. We stand on favored grounds. Hear me, I declare. Every step you take from today will produce a miracle. Every door that was closed against you will open. We are there rejected you before. Go back there tomorrow and knock. That door must open. Share with me favor. So, we are standing on favored grounds. Again, my apostle, you know some say, some say, you got to do this and do this to trigger the favor of God. No. God's favor is triggered already. You only respond to it by faith. It is triggered already. Hallelujah. We stand on favored grounds. We stand on cost-free grounds. As children of God, write this down. God's favor is your birthright. Why am I pushing this? The day you come to an understanding or a revelation of the favor of God, that you have a right to God's favor, then your faith will move mountains. The day you realize it, 
that you are favored of God. What's this? Why do you enjoy favor? You enjoy favor because of who your father is. Who is your father? The almighty, almighty. The ancient of days. The first and the last. The one that lives forever. And more importantly, try and write this down. I'm wrapping up now. What Jesus did at Calvary has eternally placed the favor of God on your side. It placed God on your side and placed his favor on your side. Hallelujah. What Jesus Christ did at Calvary has placed not just God on your side, but his favor. In fact, God's justice is now on your side. It used to be against you. Hallelujah. But after Jesus died and rose again, the blood of Jesus permanently put the favor of God on your side. That's what the Bible now says in Romans 8, 31. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Now watch this. Look at that same Romans 8, 31 in the message Bible. I give you this free of charge. It says, so what do you think with God on our side like this? How can I lose? How can I stay barren? How can I stay sick? How can I remain in debt? Why wouldn't my business grow? Shout the Lord, favor! Yeah. Hear me? God so honored what Jesus did at Calvary that he justified us. And his justice now demands. Instead of us being punished, it demands that we be vindicated. We be protected. We be blessed. We be enriched. We be prosperous. We be delivered. And we be favored. Because of Jesus. So, you enjoy favor. Because of who your father is. It's so important you understand this truth. Let it mark your consciousness. Let it become a living force in your life. You know why? Because it is your thinking that controls your actions outside. We used to say, my apostle, I used to say, your destiny is in your hands. No. Your destiny is in your mind. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Your thoughts create your reality. If you think causes, if you think the government, if you think the parastatals, you will stay bound and limited. But if you think favor, if you think angelic assistance, then you will see doors open for you. Like I see you going to a new level from today. If that is you, shout yes. Hear me, friends? You have a whole new status. And you are exempt from a lot of stuff that can molest, harass, and intimidate the natural man. Glory to God. Favor is something granted. It is not merited. It is granted. If you read Genesis 6, 8, I think it's in the Amplified. God's word says that Noah found favor. Man of God, there was nothing Noah did to end it. Hallelujah. It is granted and it is not merited. Favor is your birthright. And watch this. This is my personal conviction. Psalm 102 verse 13. God's word says, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor her. Yeah. The set time is now. I believe that the church of Jesus is living in the day of favor. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are living in a time of favor. Look at it. Luke 4, 19. Again, let me prove it to you from scripture. Luke 4, 19. This is Jesus giving his manifesto in the King James. He says to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Now look at the Amplified. Praise God. Quickly, now my time is flying. Amplified. He says to proclaim the accepted, an acceptable year of the Lord. He says the day, apostle, Day here is not a chronological 24-hour time period. Day speaks of a dispensation. 
The day of Jesus. What is happening in that day? The day when salvation and the free favors of God profusely abound. Men and brethren, I see your own McDonald's coming alive. I see your KFC. I see your brand. I see your Tommy Hilfiger. I see your breakthrough. I see your success. I see your testimony. Favor rewrites your story. In the name of the Lord Jesus. It says the day when God's favor profusely abounds. Profusely means to go beyond. To go beyond limitation. It means to break limits that were there previously. Can I speak over you? Father, in Jesus' name, we take authority over limits that brethren have accepted in their mind. Limits from the environment we command them broken that your favor takes them to a new realm of oppression and exploits. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Profusely also means to break through to new levels. It means to overabound. Praise Jesus. For the proof, Isaiah 61 verse 2 in the New Living Translation. This is the day we are living in. Isaiah 61 2 in the New Living Translation. He says, this is Jesus. He said, he has sent me to tell those who mourn that the time, help me read this, the time of the Lord's favor has come. That means stop begging an uncle. Stop depending on your own ability. Stop crying yourself to sleep. Put your faith in what Jesus did and see the favor of God. Hallelujah. Brethren, as I close, what is favor? To favor means to endorse. For instance, you write a book. And then because you want the book to sell, you go to maybe an ex-president of, of Uganda to write the endorsement. When he now writes the endorsement, people will see his name and signature. Amen? And then the book begins to sell. It sells because you are now using his credibility. So also favor. When God favors you, you begin to use God's credibility. And when you use the credibility of God, all the struggle goes away. No more struggle in your life. No more struggle in your finances. In the name of the Lord Jesus. When God favors you, he has endorsed you and given you his credibility. This is what the Bible says that he has given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven, of things on earth, and of things beneath the earth. Peter practiced it. Glory to God. When God gives you his credibility, all the struggle goes away. Romans 14, 17, and 18. Look at favor again. Look at this. Quickly, now. how many minutes? The apostle gave me time. <laughs> 15, we're good. Look at Romans 14, 17. We're going to read 18 as well. It says, it says, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Now, look, look at verse 18. Loudly, everybody. For he that in these things serveth Christ is acceptable to God and approved of men. Look at me, everybody. When God accepts you, men automatically follow suit. This is favor. If you understand favor, no man can say no to you. Your car dealership is coming. You are about to marry and have children. Even at the age of 62. In the name of the Lord Jesus. When God accepts you, men automatically follow suit. No man can say no to you because no man can say no to God. Favor is key to success. Favor is God's aid or support. It gives you the advantage. Favor makes it possible for your enemies to bless you without knowing. Hallelujah. God is sending you on an assignment. The devil is about to write the check. If you receive that with me, shout yes. Shout yes. 
How do we know? He said, when a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Hear me, before this time tomorrow, your ears will hear good news. Them that fought you will begin to fight for you. They will fight for you. They will open doors for you. They will sign the check. In the name of the Lord Jesus, say with me, favor. Favor is divine assistance. Favor makes angels labor for you. Doing things for you you could never do on your own in a thousand years. How do you think the walls of Jericho fell? Hallelujah. Got to think a bit. Praise God. God said to them, march round once every seven, on the seventh day, march round seven times and shout. If you think it is shouting, you try shouting, let the wall fall. So how do you think the walls fell? Angels stood behind the walls. As people shouted, the walls fell. I want you to shout tonight because you understand favor. Every wall standing between you and success falls tonight. Every barrier collapses. Every limitation collapses. Shout yes. Shout yes. Say with me, favor. favor. Favor makes angels labor for you. Doing things for you you couldn't do on your own. Matthew 28, 1 and 2. Quickly, and I have about 10 minutes to go. The Bible says, in the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and all the other Mary to see the sepulcher. Verse 2, loudly everybody. And behold... There was a great earthquake. For the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it so that nobody could roll it back. Two women could never roll away that stone. An angel came. I prophesy angelic assistance. Angels will labor for you. Angels will assist you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Say with me, favor. favor. Yeah, I mean, your journey of life, you need assistance. Whether angelic or human, favor provokes it. Again, favor is a defense against shame. It's a defense against shame. Psalm 41 verse 11. Psalm 41 verse 11. It says, by this I know that thou favorest me because... My enemy does not triumph over me. They thought the cancer will kill me, but I am here standing. They thought the debt will swallow me, but I'm a multi-millionaire. They thought I could never have a child or marry, but look at me today. I'm dancing to the altar. By this I know. Say with me favor. Yeah. Hear me, young ladies. I know it is good to do the eyelash it is good to wear the cutex and the lipstick. Hallelujah. But if you really want to see the power of God, put your faith in Jesus. There is no need to go to Mary Kay or Victoria's Secrets. Even while we don't know why Victoria should have secrets, but forget about Victoria. Go to favor. Favor will put a new song in your mouth. Shout the Lord, Favor. Finally, favor singles out. Favor distinguishes. Luke 1, 28. Luke 1, 28. Luke 1, 28. He says, And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Put your finger there. You see, so favor is an aspect of the presence of God. Say, blessed art thou among women. Now, as I close, watch this. There is nothing in scriptures that points to the fact that Mary should be the vessel through whom Jesus will come. What singled her out? Favor. The Bible says so. You are highly favored. I declare, out of a thousand, they will pick you. Out of a million, you will go up. 
You will rise and continue to rise. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I want us to stand for a minute. I'll speak a word of prayer. Hallelujah. Man of God is so strong in my spirit. That more time millionaire businessmen are going to come out of here. And the access to that is favor. Can I pray? Our Father in Jesus name. I have spoken your word. I ask that your favor will make the impossible possible. Let unusual doors open for them. Let their brands come alive. Let their potentials come alive. And let your name alone be glorified. We declare that everyone that came tonight will go home with a miracle. Your favor will canopy them according to your word. And do the unusual. Be exalted our father. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Please welcome the apostle. Come on, clap like you've been blessed. In Genesis 39 verse 1, the Bible gives a man called Joseph. And the Bible says he was favored by the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. You all know the story of Joseph. I'm not going to go back and preach that. But I was thinking to myself a few minutes ago, and the Spirit of the Lord impressed it. For me to share this with you. But you have to see this. The Bible says though he strives. He is not crowned. Except to strive lawfully. Praise God. This is the thing that puts a crown on your head. This is the thing that puts an identity on you. That men say it, it's not just spoken. It is evident the Lord is with that woman. Somebody shout hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, I strive lawfully. And I received the law tonight. Favor is the law of God. And it is working in my embers. It is working for my side. It is working on my behalf. Come on, say it, say it. It's working in my family, say it. It's working in my business. Say it. It's working in my body. Say it. I love how the scripture has said, my enemy doth not triumph. He doesn't. That means he tries. That disease tries, but it can't kill you. Hey! Shebra katataraba. Somebody say I'm favored. The economy won't bury me. Say it. When I go in the graveyard, dead bodies will receive life. That's not. You enter the battle and you know the end of it. But this is what I wanted to share. I was thinking, my spirit, it was driven there. Because something is happening in somebody's life this evening. Listen, something is happening in somebody's life this evening. I know. I know when something is happening. I know it. I know it. Listen. He left. Listen, verse 1. Joseph was brought down to Egypt. You all know the spiritual representation of Egypt. Right? He says, and Potiphar an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him on the hands of the Ishmaelites, which had brought him down thither. And the next verse says, and the Lord. Somebody say, the Lord was with Joseph. Yes. The scripture says, and the Lord. He, even when they're taking in him, him in Egypt, even when, oh, The son of God is being transacted. But God is with him. Are you hearing me? And the Bible says that he was a prosperous man. He entered Potiphar's house. No, the Bible didn't say he, he became. Who is understanding what I'm saying? The Bible didn't say that Joseph became a prosperous man. No. The Bible says he was 
a prosperous man. Why? Because the Lord was with him. And he was a prosperous man. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. And the Bible says in the next verse, next verse, and his master saw that the Lord was with, you can put your name there. And the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. It is different from the time the man was prosperous. Understand me. Verse 3 is a manifestation of the prosperity on his life. Somebody say I'm a prosperous man. Say I'm a prosperous woman. The Lord is with me. He's with me. He's with me. And the Bible says, and his master saw. It will be evident. I'm saying it again. I don't know who I'm talking to. It will be evident. They will see it and say, truly the Lord is with him. The Lord is with her. Truly. And the next verse says, and Joseph found grace in the sight of his master. You find grace in the sight of men. And he served him. And he made him overseer over his house. And all that he had put into his hands. And the next verse says, and it came to pass that from that time, he made him overseer, the Bible says, in over all that he had. And the Lord, listen, bless the Egyptian's house. Are you understanding? Do you know why we refuse to go to America and make ministries there? We, we're doing it here. Tell your neighbor we're doing it here. Uganda is prosperous because of you. Oh, the business where you work is going to be prosperous because of you. The nation you leave, it shall be prosperous because of you. When men say, oh, this nation is going down. If you're there, you tell them, uh-uh. Not while I'm still here. Somebody shout hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, Uganda is rising every day. We are going, we are on the map of the world. They will identify us. They will look at the map and say, how does Uganda look like? Who is Uganda? Oh! The blessing did not only settle on Potiphar's. The Bible says, the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house. All that he had in the house. It was upon all that he had in the field. Potiphar, everything starts to work because he has a man who has God. Somebody put up your hands. Put up your hands. Just put up your hands. He says, they that receive, receive, receive. I feel an anointing tonight because of the word that has been spoken. I feel an anointing tonight. Just receive. Just receive. There are people in this crowd. You came as an average person, but you're walking out of this ground another man. You're walking from this ground another woman. Things are going to manifest on your life faster than you can count. I know who I'm talking to. Come on, receive it. Receive it. May things happen faster than you can count. May things happen faster than you can think. May things happen faster than you can plan. May our problems be space. I said, May our problems be space. Recobros, Cerebros y Kemantosca, Hacerico Brasso Ribus. God will receive it. God will receive it. God will receive it. God will receive it. May things start to prosper around you because of what is on you. May things start to change around you 
because of the favor of God that he has bestowed upon your life. God has just redeemed 20 years, 15 years of somebody here. You're going to do in one year. Holy Ghost! Touch somebody! You're going to do in one year. What takes men centuries? You're going to do in days. What takes men centuries? You're going to do in weeks. What takes men centuries? It can only be so. And not otherwise. The lives of men will change when they come in contact with you. But you see, kind, when you understand that you have the life of God, you shall decree a thing. And it shall be established. And I told her now, under that anointing, I decree. You know, some of you are going to make things so easy. People are going to go on prayer mountains to pray. You're just going to wake up and say, it shall not open. And nothing in the world can open it. You're just going to say, it shall close tomorrow morning by 7 p.m. And nothing in the world shall be able to open it. It was in the simplicity of how the miracle happened. She thought maybe we're going to take 40 days of fasting, oil, drink it, go up, flip, take a sec. No. The difference between her and many is that she simply received life. Things are going to start happening. And I know, I know who I'm talking to here. You're just going to make simple statements. And miracles will happen in the lives of men. Simple, but powerful to the glory of God. To the glory of God. Why? Because you're accepted of the Lord. You are accepted of the Lord. You are the righteousness of God in Christ. And you perform under the righteousness of faith. Faith is righteous. It is right. When you believe, you're never wrong. Come on. Give the Lord a man hang up a praise. You have a wonderful week. You have a wonderful month. You have a wonderful year. Next week you're going to hear greater news. The other week you're going to hear greater, greater news. In the mighty name of Jesus. And there is nothing in this world that can stop you. Tell your neighbor nothing in this world can stop me. I'm favored of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Now, those of you who want to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you're going to repeat these words after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe tonight that you are the Son of God that gave his life for me. I believe that you died and rose again for me. So tonight, I receive you as my personal Lord and Savior. I'm born again. Amen. The message Praise you have God. just heard was brought to you by Fenero Ministries International. For more information, contact us on telephone number 41 466 4291 or email us at fenerocompala at gmail.com. You can also find us on the web at www.fenero.org or better still, feel free to join us every Thursday for our weekly fellowships at Uma Multipurpose Hall from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. You can also catch the live stream at livestream.com slash Fenero. Fenero, make manifest. <laughs>